Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee and today we're going to start on our drawing of Amelia. And uh, if y'all are just watching this for the first time, this drawing <clears throat> is uploaded onto Twitter and on my blog, Inkywell, I-N-K-I, w-e-l-l dot blogspot dot com and it's in white I mean she's on white on my blog but I'm asking that you print it out on a tan or some kind of a toned paper so that you can follow along on a tan paper that's mine my, my copies here are actually printed out uh, just like y'all would be using so this is not going to be erasable just like yours is not going to be erasable this part Okay, so we're going to do a color pencil demo slash class. <laughs> and uh, so thanks everybody for being here. And if you have any questions, put them in caps. I do have a little happy mail I'm going to show while we're waiting for everybody to come on. It. Come on down, Paula. You know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> hey, Paula, and everybody here. So we got over 40 people here so far. And so uh, treat the mods well. Okay, so I have a couple of happy mails, and we also have a gifty from Carrie for a giveaway today. So we're going to get after the class, we will be doing a giveaway, and uh, this will, all will be recorded. I don't know how far we'll get in one day. I'm, a, I'm thinking this will be at least two-step, two-day process. So, um, so it probably, I can't say when we'll do part two, but... Um, Anyway, the photograph is not uploaded yet. I've not uploaded the picture of Amelia. And Mandy, thank you very much for allowing us to use Amelia as our sample class, <laughs> for our sample class today. And uh, so this is just the sketch of her that I posted on my blog. I did not post the photograph yet for a reason, because I really want you all to come, you know, practice along with just the, some of the color pencil techniques that we're going to be doing, rather than focusing on trying to make it look exactly like Amelia. Well, you can print it off again and practice more, um, you know, doing it better if you, you know, with the photograph later. But right now, I just kind of want you all to follow along with some of the steps and things I'm going to show you, uh, rather than trying to do a portrait of Amelia. I hope that makes sense. But I will be posting her photograph on my blog right above her, her the drawing of her later maybe I won't do it for a couple days because I uh, you know I really want y'all to do this before you try to look at the photograph and try to make it look like her all right so I hope that makes sense so I got a couple of happy mails here one is from Gilly and she's not my swap partner in the uh, in the uh, pocket page but she sent me one, and she said in her letter, and I won't read the whole thing, but it was so sweet. And she she didn't sign up for the swap, um, but she wants, she said, but I will get off my keister and make something. Hee hee. <laughs> You're so cute, Gilly. And so she's trying to get, you know, try to do just a little bit of a, something for a challenge just to, like, you know, get over being afraid to be in a challenge or something like that. Well, she doesn't have to worry about that. She said she didn't put a bunch of stuff in this. She just wanted to practice the cards. So first off, let me show you. There, here is the, um, I think, I'm not sure if she wanted it to go this way or this way. It, to me, it looks like it should go this way, but the the pages is this is this way. So she did these cards, and she you know she didn't put a bunch of stuff in it. She just wanted to do the cards. So as you can tell, she need not be afraid of uh, being in any of these challenges or swaps. Hey Pam. So isn't that great, guys? Look at that. I don't know why she would be. I know, Vicky. Why should she be afraid to be in anything? I don't know. So I love this. And thanks so much, Gilly. Let's see if there's anything else I want to read. Um, her favorite thing about her backyard are the birch trees. Although it's spring, uh, the trees are still there with just a few buds. I love the birch. She loves the birches. Um... 
and decided to do a watercolor and ink. So it's watercolor and ink. Now to me it looks like it should go up. So I'm not sure which way she meant it to be. I think it should go this way. So it, the cards just, to me, that's the way I, I visualize it. You know, it doesn't matter which way the cards are in the packaging. That doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> she says she totally winged it. She went into this with no expectations and came out pleased with what she had made. She says she's just getting over the fear of something new and not worrying about what people think of it. And amen, sister. <laughs> so anyway, and then she has a little, she does have a little charm tucked in here. There's a little charm here on the, on one of the cards. She has a little butterfly and some little flowers on that charm. So it kind of got tucked into the other side. The stump go down. I don't know what the stumps are. I don't know. I like it this way. Can I have it this way? Can I show it this way? <laughs> I don't know if she means it to be this way or not. Maybe she does mean it to be this way. And maybe that's what she means for the stump. Okay. Yeah. All right. I see that's leaning. Okay. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look how good she did the birch. I know. Right, Anita K. Oh, I know. So thank you, Gilly, for that. And she also sent something for <coughs> Mystery Carol, which I'll forward. She sent some beautiful tissue paper with um, butterflies. And she sent some little butterflies that she did. Four little cards for uh, Mystery Carol. So I'll forward these on to her as well. So thanks so much. And she did sign them. So just saying. <laughs> So that'll go to Mystery Carol. But I love this. It's going to go right into my notebook. Of, I didn't put it in the notebook yet because I wanted to make sure I shared it. So I will keep the little letter. And she had this little pocket thing here with the, another little charm on it that she had the letter in. And she has this wrapped in this tissue. I love all this tissue paper when I get this tissue paper. And a tag with my name on it. So, yeah, this was wrapped in this with the tag with my name on it. This was wrapped around the folded up piece. So, there, let me show you the, uh, there's the cards again. I know. Aren't they great? So, thanks so much, Gilly, for that. Okay, so let's see here. And I will keep the tag and the, all this in, in the uh, little book, too. I'll tuck it in there. But, again love the colors. I mean, there's just so much little stuff to look at in each one. Of course, I love this. So, thanks so much. Thanks so much for sharing with me and with with uh, Mystery Carol. So, that goes, this goes to Mystery Carol. Mine goes over here so I put it in the notebook. Okay, thanks everybody again for popping in. I still see people coming in. Pam, hello everybody. Thanks for being here. Okay, so again, before we get started, I'll, I'll try to refocus again if I need to. I'm just going to keep that right there. Camera like that. Ask Paula. She has one too. Alright, so y'all know that last week I bought one of these uh, faux cloth faux dories from Sister Woman Jonna. Scrappy Camper Sisters, um, if y'all want to see them make this on a stream. And then, uh, well, they made duck dories, they made bow dories, Jonna made these cloth dories. But I love this pattern. So I bought this one from her. She's uh, she's selling these to support her mission tour trip to, uh, she goes to different parts. I'm not sure which one, which trip she's going on next. But, uh, and really, um, it's, she's really all about the kids in these impoverished places that she goes to. So I bought one of these and I put my own, she doesn't sell, the stuff inside doesn't come in it. Just the, the cover, you know, it has the band and it has the elastic down the middle and it has a pin holder 
So um, that's if you purchase one from her. But it just feels so good. It's so soft. I love this pattern too, Anita K. I do too. Um, so anyway, Carrie, our I carry love bought one and had Jonna send it here to me to gift it to you guys. So Jonna sent me a nice note and that Carrie bought one of these and she also sent some postage money to pay for the postage so wherever it goes and um, so here we go it came wrapped like this with this was around it a little jar and she even sent an extra envelope <laughs> to mail it in with the postage so this is the one that we're going to give away today okay because with Carrie so thank you Carrie I know wasn't it so sweet so Carrie gifted us oh and here's what was wrapped around it there's a little a tag here that you put the to and from which this I'll put this around the everything back together for whoever wins it at the end of the show and we'll just do the regular old giveaway, put in a number and all that. So this will go to whoever from Carrie. Okay, so this is gifted from Carrie. And because Carrie's in Canada and, and John is here in the States, Carrie just had John send it to me to save all the rigor and roar of packet, you know, postage sending there and here and there. So here's what she sent us to give away. And again, it's just the covers, all right? But look at this beautiful color. There's the pin holder right there. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous, guys? I'm going to open it here in a second, just so you can see. And you put your own. It's just, it's like a faux dory. Like, the, here's the little beads on the corner holding the elastic in the inside. And then here's the elastic on the inside where you can put your, your signatures in. So, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, Cougar Dory. <laughs> I know, AJ, right? Uh, so, yeah. So, this is going to be gifted out today to somebody in our class from Carrie. So, thanks, Carrie, for purchasing that for the group. I know. Aren't they awesome colors? So, yeah. Carrie's thinking, I want to win it now. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, you can play along, and if you win, I'll send you something else. How about that? <laughs> but I just love it. I love it. <laughs> so there we go. So we'll be doing a giveaway at the end of the show. And, and we'll all get wrapped back up and with the matching. Look, it's even got a, the tag matches. I mean, Jonna. Jonna's all about the color coordination here. Okay, so I'll show it again. And thanks again, Carrie, for the postage uh, to send it as well. Okay, so we'll we're gonna we'll show that again toward uh, toward the end of the show. All right. Okay. So if y'all are ready to get started, I already gave y'all a list of the color pencils. Again, let me let me stress this. Just use what you have. If you only have a couple of shades of light blue, or you know, fine. This is going to be a practice. You do not want to go out and spend a bunch of money on a whole full set of Prismacolors if you're not even going to like doing color pencil. You know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I got to stop doing that, don't I, Paula? <laughs> the thing. I got that from Paula. Sorry, guys. It's, it's, become, a, it's become a habit. <laughs> oh, so... <clears throat> Yeah, you can never have too many Dories. Yeah, now Paula, if maybe Paula on her show, if she, are you streaming tonight, Paula? Uh, on Paula's show tonight, maybe she'll show you. She has a real Traveler's Midori, a real one. She's not making the duck Dories and faux Dories. She's got a real Dory. Is that, should we maybe have hashtag real Dory? <laughs> anyway, so maybe we all can get her to show it to y'all tonight if she streams. And uh, <laughs> you can't stop saying it either, Paula. Okay. So anyway, what I'm, if you only have Crayola color pencils? Now, granted, they're not going to blend for you as well. But I just want y'all to this to be a practice piece at first. You can print it out again. I've printed out three copies here. Now, let me mind you. Let me go ahead and get those out of the way. I do have a piece of cardstock under it for a little cushion. Okay. Uh, you, it's best if you have a little bit of a cushion under your 
uh, piece that you're working on so you're not getting if you do if you do it directly onto a, pit, a table you might dig in you might dig in with a pencil and get a pencil mark that is harsh we want to be gentle we're going to be gentle with drawing Amelia okay and uh, so nice soft layers we're not really going to dig 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 in with any maybe with the you know the black and the pupil or something like that but even that you, you want to just take it easy we're, we're, we're going to do it nice and gentle okay all right so again the pencils are, I gave the list of the colors of that I used on the last stream if you want all the numbers and everything of all the colors but just use what you have if you've got all your pencils out I'll tell you what I'm using and tell you what you can kind of use like I'll say you know like a, a, a medium blue okay so again I will be posting the picture of Amelia on my blog in a couple of days I really don't want y'all to look at the photograph of her yet because I don't want y'all to get uh, bothered that your photo that your drawing may not look exactly like the photograph and it, and it probably won't unless you do a lot of portraits okay <laughs> AJ's trying to be teachers <laughs> yeah you just got your mail and pocket letter <laughs> okay <laughs> you girls Okay, I oh okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep moving on here. All right, so <laughs> I, I'm sorry if you're watching this on YouTube recording. There's a live chat with li lively. I'm telling you, lively girls here today. <laughs> and uh, so Eileen and Carrie and um, Vicky are gonna try to keep them in line, but those three can you know they can get a little out of hand. Sure, you can say who it's from. Go ahead, Anita. It's not a secret. When you get your pocket letter, you're more than welcome to share who sent it to you. So, Miss Anita K., uh, hopefully you will tweet it out a picture, too. Yeah, you can tell us. I already showed mine. I already showed my uh, pocket letter that I got for my uh, secret girl. So, yes, please do. We're, we're all waiting. We're waiting right here, Miss Anita K., for you to tell us. <laughs> It's from Tam, Tam Tamiko. So, okay, so Anita K, I don't see uh, Tamiko here, but Tamiko, Anita K is having a fit over your pocket letter in the chat. Just saying, okay, maybe she'll tweet us a picture. Okay, you'll put, okay, later this morning. Hi, Nana J. Janet, good to see you. And belated happy birthday to Janet. Uh, her birthday was a few days ago. Good to see you, Janet. Hopefully, uh, the chat will behave for you today. Okay, so again, <clears throat> oh, and let me say the scene, Nana J, Janet from YouTube. Um, I mean, I've been knowing, I've been, I've been knowing Miss Nana J for a long time. <laughs> My southern accent's gonna come out. Okay, so anyway, um, I've been knowing Nana J for a long time as well, and um, and follow her on YouTube as well. And so that reminded me to say that I have over 800 subscribers now on YouTube. Thank you all so much. I plan on doing a YouTube slash Ustream giveaway when I hit a thousand. So when I hit a thousand, I'm going to do a YouTube. All all of you girls here on Ustream can contribute. You know, can be a part of it as well, uh, because I know all of you all follow me on YouTube as well. So anybody that's on YouTube and Ustream that wants to be a part of a giveaway, when I reach a thousand, here's how I'm going to work it. Now don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. I'll announce it. I'll put a I'll put a video on YouTube that all you'll have to do is just comment. All you'll have to do is subscribe and comment in my chat on YouTube. And then what I'll do is I'll print out, I'll just copy and paste everybody's name that comments. And I'll just cut up the strips, put them in a bowl, shuffle them up, and we'll do a drawing. That's how we're going to do the YouTube drawing. Okay? I don't have time to do that here on Ustream on a live show. But I, I'll have time to do that on YouTube. So at, when I reach 1,000 subscribers, thanks guys, when I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will give away, I'll give away something awesome, I will, I don't know what it'll be, but we'll give, we'll give away something awesome. <laughs> Alright.
right. So, all right. So thanks. Uh, I just said that because I saw Janet come in and she's one of the ones that I know on YouTube. Okay. So AJ, are you ready? <laughs> all right. So again, this will be recorded and uploaded on YouTube. All right. Everybody grab your white pencil, AJ. Grab your, I'm just, I'm teasing AJ. I was teasing AJ before I hit record that she's like, they're teasing her about being teacher's pet, but and that's what they would say about me when I went back to school in my 30s, back to college in my 30s. All the, you know, everybody else was like 18, 19 years old, and I was teasing AJ that we're both the kind of sit up front, raise her hand, ask questions, you know, and want all these explanations about everything, you know, and uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. So everybody got their white pencil. Now, if you have any questions, put it in caps. Again, remember, you've just printed this out on some cardstock. It's not the end of the world. Don't, you're not going to, nothing's going to happen if you don't do have it exactly like mine. All right. So the first thing I want you to do, and hopefully I am close enough for you to see, I will try to keep, you know, bringing it up to the camera, but I'm trying to keep the focus as much as I possibly can. Take your white pencil, and what I want you to do is color in the whites of her eyes, right up, almost just barely over the line of her pupil, or her iris, rather, okay? All right, see how I'm doing? It's kind of like, almost like right over the, the uh, right over the uh, sienna color, okay? Because remember, this is just, I went over a drawing that I did with sienna, so that it would show up better on camera, but all this is going to get covered up. Every bit of that is going to be covered up. So I want you right now just to color in the whites of her eyes like this. And I don't know how long, how many lessons this will take. I'm not going to try to hurry to fix two or three or whatever, you know. We're and, and but I don't want to do more than say about an hour worth of work in one session because y'all are going to be like stressing out if I if I if I do so we're just going to do about an hour we'll see how far we get in an hour okay all right so is that Jean tweeting me already <laughs> oh the chat had a major split okay all right so now I don't know what to do <laughs> we just had a chat split in Ustream all right I see that Carrie's tweeting me. I am recording. Okay. I don't know if half of you are, if you can still see me even if you're not in chat. Hopefully, those of you that are in a net split, Carrie or Vicki, can you tell? Are y'all in separate ones? Let's see. Vicki's still here. Hey, Barb. Um, it looks like Eileen is in the other side. So Eileen is on one side of the net split. Vicki and Carrie are here with me. So Eileen, can you still see the recording? As long as you can see the recording, then we'll keep going. Okay, yes, so we're recording. So if you have any questions, if you're on the other side with Eileen, just ask Eileen. She'll answer for you. Okay, so we have a net split. So half the chat's in one place and half the chat is here with me. So, but apparently everybody is still seeing the recording, so we're going to continue on, all right? All right, so after you color in the whites of the eyes, and now I've got to, uh, i got to bring my photograph back up here. I got, and again, the reason I'm not showing you the photograph is because I want you to practice these techniques rather than just trying to do a, uh, do a portrait of Amelia at this point. Okay, so now I want you to, lightly her she has blue gray eyes so what i want you to do is just color the irises lightly so that you can still see the dif the, the differentiation between the whites of the eyes and the pu the uh irises okay all right and let me show you this this is a good example see how my white pencil went a little bit over there so that wouldn't bother me but I want to show you guys something in case it, it start, starts to worry you. Let me find my um, pencil. Okay. Remember I told you all about that I use a Ticonderoga black lead, I mean black eraser, because it doesn't make marks. So that will erase like that little bit of white where I went past the eye. Now, remember, it's not going to erase any of this because this is printed with your inkjet or whatever printer. 
But I just want to show you, so just so that y'all know that you can erase oh, if you're lightly, if you're if you're working lightly. Okay, don't be don't be you know, take it easy. We're gonna take it easy. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me put my test in chat to see if I got the Okay, so I apparently cannot chat either. Let me try to restore the chat and pop it back out and see if I can get who I have here. All right. All righty, here we go. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I could only sketch the picture. Okay, all right. Well, I'm recording, uh, Janet, so, you know, when you can. Okay, thanks, Vicki, when you can. All right, so that's that's what we're going to just start with the first. Now what I want you to do, because people get freaked out when they only see <laughs> the whites of the eyes, and the, it's like, ah, oh, you know. All right, so what I want you to do is take your black. Now remember also, guys, sharpen. Sharpen often. You want sharp pencils. Unless I tell you that it doesn't matter, we want sharp, sharp pencils. Okay, I'm going to sharpen my black again and sharpen my white again. And let me give you another hint. Let me give you another tip about color pencils and using white or any light color. Make sure whether you're using your pencil sharpener or you're going close to, say, the black, you want to make sure there's no color on your pencil lead. And I know it's not lead. I just call it that. Okay, let me get some focus going here again. Um, hang on, guys. I'm going to refocus my camera. It seems to have... You want to, that's why you see all this here. This is where I've cleaned off my pencils. So just kind of roll off any excess and make sure there's no color on there. Because if you have, say, black on your, on your white pencil, you're going to pick it up and it's going to go on your work. <clears throat> okay. Okay, yes, there was a net split for those of you just coming back in, but I'm still recording. Let's, everybody, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you might have to refresh. Vicki, can you tell them that they might have to refresh? Or Eileen, whichever one of y'all. Oh, let me, I got to remod some people here. I'm not sure which carrot, carrot, there's carrot. Sorry for the, excuse the uh, techno, techno things we have to deal with here. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so hopefully everybody, you know, we're good. All right, again, if you're just, you know, trying to get back in chat, all we've done is colored in the whites of the eyes and lightly put a coat of white over the pupil, I mean over the uh, iris, where the color's going to go. The reason that I like to do that, is because it will make your vibrancy of the, the, when we put blue on top of that white, it will keep its vibrancy, okay? So that the blue, bright blue eyes are not uh, dulled down by the tan paper. <clears throat> All right? So take your black and just fill in the pupil. Little circle. It's going to look weird, I know. Don't anybody freak out till we get past this. <laughs> all right. We'll, we'll try to put some highlights in her eyes shortly so that you all get past that. All right. So just put some pupils in the eye. All right. And I'm kind of trying to take it sort of slow, but not so slow that people are, you know, like, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, then I want you to take a dark gray. Uh, take one of your blue grays, whatever closest you have to a blue, a dark blue gray. If you only have plain old dark gray, just use that. Okay, again, remember, this is not necessarily to make it a portrait of Amelia at this time. It's a, I'm trying to just show you some different techniques. Okay, this is a copy here. <laughs> All right. I really probably should have something so I can pull this up to you. Hang on. Let me get something. 
I'm going to put it on a clipboard here. I'm going to put my work on a clipboard so that I can lift it up easily and work if I need to. Again, i got to try to keep the focus with my little card here. Let me just try to put that right under there. There we go. Just so the camera has a little some, something dark to focus on. All right. And again, it's a, it's a very rainy, overcast day here in Atlanta. And so um, my lighting keeps kind of switching. But I think we're good. How are we doing, guys? Does it, does it look okay? I'm trying to keep it as focused as I can. All right. Concentrate. Okay, AJ can't chat now. She's concentrating. Okay. So now what I want you to do is not, not under or over, just on the sides of the pupil. Just follow just a nice little gray kind of outline of the pupil on the outside edges, not on the top or the bottom, just on the sides of the pupil. Okay, just kind of lightly. I'm not pushing hard, guys. I'm not pushing down. I'm, if you see, I'm going over it a couple, two, three times lightly. She's going to have blue eyes, but they're outlined with a gray. Okay. And kind of try to keep it kind of round. I'm, I kind of did it a little bit too straight because I'm holding it up. But I'm going to kind of round them out a little. Because you've got to remember the eyes are round. Even if they have eyelids up above or under them, they're still round. Okay? The pupils, the iris, the eyeball itself, they're round. All right. I don't see any. Uh, hey, Darcy. Oh, I was teasing Darcy this morning. Let me show you this real quick. I told her that uh, we might be, let's see, did I not bring it over here to this? I think I just have it on my phone. I told Darcy that our next, if this class goes well, we'll see. We've already had one net split. No, but that doesn't matter as far. I, hopefully this will be helpful for everybody with the um, class, this demo thing here. I don't want to really call it a class, maybe just a demo. But uh, if it goes well, I told, I told, teased Darcy, I was kind of half teasing that we will be, let me go here, where is it? I know I got it here somewhere. What do I do with her? That we're going to be drawing Darcy. Where is she? I got her here somewhere. Where did I do with my Darcy? Hmm. Well, anyway, redheaded Darcy, I have her picture here somewhere that I saved. Where is Saver? Can I save her on my iPad or on my phone? Ah, here we go. Now this is my flash out the camera. But we're going to draw Darcy. <laughs> oh, let's see. Then we're going to draw her next. Okay. Thanks, Mama Four. I like saying that quick. Mama Four. Mama Four. Okay. All right. Let me go back to Amelia here. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Well, I, I hope, and like I said, you know, with you stream and the, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep the camera very, you know, focused and all. But I think y'all are getting the idea. All right, now what I want you to do is very lightly. Let's say, let's pick up the blue because we want to. I want to make the very distinct. Pick up your medium blue. Here's a light, light blue, a medium blue, whatever blue you have. There's like a gray. You know, um, just I want you to just get a medium blue. It's not your. Remember again, this is a demo. It's not necessarily to just to look exactly like Amelia at this point. Okay, I want y'all to practice. All right, so all I want you to do is lightly color in the whole iris where you've already put a coat of white. Just color in the whole area lightly because you're going to put a layer. You're going to layer this stuff. So if you get it too waxy build up you're it's you're not going to be able to layer so just put a nice light coat of blue even if we make her eyes a little lighter than they are in the photograph i want y'all to just do this okay just go over the white that you've already done just like that okay just give her a nice even coat at this point. It's just an even coat, no shading. Just a nice even coat of blue. All right.
Oh, good Vaughn. Oh, Vaughn, I love you. You're so, I love you, Vaughn. Okay, all right, so there we go. Let's just do a nice little coat of blue. All right, I'm going to give you all a second for that, because I, I know I do it faster, and I think, well, that didn't take me but a second. So I think, well, it's not going to take anybody else longer than a second either. But it, I know it will. Okay, so I'm trying. Amelia is Mandy's daughter. You know, our Jen Oz. Jen Oz produced Mandy. Mandy produced Amelia. <laughs> And uh, anyway, she gave us, she gave me her permission to use uh, uh, Amelia as our classwork. Now, when we go to draw you, Darcy UK, I'm not going to get your permission. <laughs> We're just going to draw you. I'm just kidding. Of course, I would not do it if you didn't want me to. <laughs> I'm teasing Darcy UK in the chat here. <laughs> So anyway, and they live in Australia, and I just finished doing, if y'all follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you'll see that I just finished to uh, a portrait of her son and daughter that I posted. This is a separate pic, this is a different picture than the one I drew from for the commission. Okay, this is a different one. I did not want to do the same one for that very purpose that, you know, then y'all would be saying, oh, I didn't do it as good as Dee Dee, and all, yeah, you know, I didn't want any of that. So I wanted y'all to just start fresh with a new photo, a new picture of Amelia. So that's who this is. Yes, it's it's Jen Oz's granddaughter. Yes, yeah. Okay. Need to order extra red pen. That's true. Now, here's the thing, though, Darcy, and I'm giving everybody time to keep working. Keep working. Don't stop working while we're talking. Uh, Darcy has that vi vivid red hair, and uh, but if you saw how I did pack or die, we will start with paint. <laughs> we'll paint it all on, Darcy. Okay, so here's pack or die's uh, portrait that I did of pack or die. Okay, if you can see, we started with a bunch of paint, Darcy. So when we do you, you if we draw you, let me find the picture again here. If we do your, uh, we'll start with, this will all be paint, started with pink and red paint. <laughs> so we won't be using a whole bunch of color, red color pencils down to the nub. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I told y'all this, you know, I'm not a teacher, so we're on rabbit trails here, people. Okay, so if you did that, now go back to your blue-gray. Go back to your blue-gray that you, that you did the outline with, okay? <laughs> and what I want you to do is now bring out where you did the outline, okay, <clears throat> with the blue-gray, lightly, very, I mean, I'm barely touching this, barely touching it. Just shade, bring out that line into closer to the pupil. Just very lightly. You're blending in from the, from the gray into the blue. Very lightly. Can you see that? I don't even know if it's showing up how lightly I'm doing it. And kind of go in a kind of a C motion because you're going to try to go around, you know, make it circular, make her eyes circular. Can y'all see that? Just kind of shade just a little. We'll put some more. We're going to go over and over it. That's why you got to do it very lightly. Okay, just shade in very lightly, kind of like in a C motion. If you get a little bit on the eye, we're going to cover it up, or if it bothers you, Try to erase it with a, you know, preferably not a red rubber eraser, but whatever you got. Okay, so just kind of shade around like that. You're just trying to make it so it's not a harsh line. And lighter and lighter and lighter. Now if you need to, after you do that, pick up your uh, light, your blue again, and then kind of go over that again, because you're trying to make it blended. Just using, just right now, we're just using two colors, the gray and the blue. But do you see how you no longer see any of the sienna? You should not see any of the sienna on the on the iris or the pupil when you get done with this stage. Okay, so I'm just going kind of back and forth between you know the blues and the gray, and just kind of blend in her eye right there, just so that you can kind of have no harsh line. All right, how's that going for y'all? 
okay? I'm going to come put it down here for just a second. You don't want any sienna on the actual pupil. If you get into the whites of the eyes again, then go back in there with a nice, sharp, clean white pencil and go right up against the go right up against the uh, iris again, the color part of the eye, just to kind of make sure you keep it a nice round. Okay. All right. So here's what we got so far. Okay, and I can tell this eye is just not quite round enough, but we're we're gonna work on that too. If if your eye's not perfectly round, just it's okay. We're we're gonna keep working. <laughs> just hang in there. All right, so that's what we got so far. All right, now go back to your um light. Go take me sharpen it. Get your lightest blue. Get your lightest blue. I'm sharpen my lightest blue again. And I, I'm not giving you numbers right now or anything. I did give the pencil colors that I'm using, the numbers on the last stream I did, <clears throat> the last show. But right now, we're using whatever you have. So get your lightest blue. Okay. And go around the pupil. Just kind of around the black. You're kind of redefining the black again because you, you get pencil build up. And I, I use a brush just so I don't, I, that's just my habit. But just kind of, again, don't worry about getting it to look like exactly like Amelia's eyes at this point. At this point, I'm just getting you to draw some eyes. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, so everybody is not freaking out about how it looks weird. I'm going to bring her to life real quick. Uh, this Remember I told you I wanted y'all to get some white acrylic paint. All you need is a dab right now. I just want you to put out one little dab of white acrylic paint. See, just one little dab. And I'm going to use a pokey tool. Um, I would recommend you use a pokey tool, a needle, the sharpest little thing that you can find. Okay, uh, if it was bigger, you could use the back end of a brush. But I want you to find something pretty small. Okay. Okay, uh, Janet. I'm recording, guys, so, you know. Hey, Lindsay. Okay, y'all got any questions or anything? Do I need to give y'all a second to get a pokey tool? Get your pokey tool out. <laughs> I'll take a sip of coffee. <laughs> all right. And all I want you to do, hey, Lindsay, all I want you to do is just pick up just the littlest bit on the, on the end of your pokey tool. Okay, let me even wipe that off to start over to show you. Because I have a little buildup on there, it looks like there's more there than there really is. You try, okay. So you can see I got a little bit of a crusty bit of white on there. All I want you to do is just get the very tip. I mean, I don't even know if you can see how little that is. Thank you, ATC and Birdies. Oh, you're welcome, Vicky L. Okay. All right. Now, her pupil is dead center in there. I don't want you to do that. I don't, I mean the highlight. I'm, we're not going to dead center it in this case. We're going to go just a little to the left. And I'm going to hold it up to you so you can see how small this is. I just want you to put the smallest little, that's all I want you to do right there. Okay, now remember, this is wet paint. You have to just, now we're going to just leave the eyes for a minute. I just don't want you to look staring at something that it bothers you to look at, like as Vicky called it, zombie eye. Okay? Now we're not done with the irises. We're not done shading or working in the eyes at all. But we're not going to disturb those little dots. Okay? If you do accidentally smear them 
or wipe them away or whatever. Just after it's dry, go back over it with your black and cover up anything that's a mis you know that's smear. But for right now, this is what we want. Okay? Are y'all following me? <laughs> okay. And like I said, this eye needs to be a little bit more rounder. We, we're not done going around the eyes or anything yet. This is just, I just want y'all to have something to feel like you're working toward the face. All right? Okay. So again, now we're going to move on to other areas, but we don't want to touch those white dots. If you want to hit it with your heat gun real quick, feel free. Thanks, Eileen, if you want to do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mama Four. <laughs> All right, AJ. <laughs> Look, I got way too many apples here on my desk, y'all. <laughs> okay. All right, so now what I want you to do is get your white pencil. Again, either just be cognizant that you don't want to touch the, the, the little wet, you know, piece of uh, paint in the eye. Or hit it with your heat gun or whatever, but don't be, you know, don't be going crazy. All right, with the with those dots. But that's all we're gonna do with the eye, with the the center of the eyes right now, because we want that to dry. I have a feeling this this is gonna take a few classes. I have a feeling this is gonna be more than two. Just saying. You know what I mean, Vern? All right. Now, what I want you to do, we're still gonna work around the eyes. But don't touch that wet, the white, wet part. As many times as I've said it, it's probably already dry. Get your white pencil. Okay. Do you, I wonder if I could zoom in one more. Let me give it a try, guys. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to see if I'll, I can focus it just a little closer. Let's see what I can do. Let me see if I can auto-focus it. Hang on. I'm going to try. Wait for it, wait for it. I think I grabbed it. I think I grabbed it. Okay. How's that? Now I'm going to lose a little clarity by doing that. And my hands look way redder <laughs> than they actually are. But how's that, guys? Okay. Y'all let me know on the color and everything because I can't, it's hard for the streamer to tell. It may be a little too right I mean to color let me see here let me try to get the color intensity down just a little because I'm, I'm using my real hand color as, a, as an example okay how's that <clears throat> okay so is that a little better closer like that okay so Janet should I say that on recording. <laughs> I don't know that I should say that on recording, Janet, but it's funny. It's really funny. Can I say it on the recording? <laughs> Nana J54, if y'all know her on YouTube, is slinging instant oatmeal at her husband <laughs> so she can get back to work. <laughs> okay, okay, it is better. All right, thanks, guys. All right, because I want y'all to be able, even though I might have to move it up and down a little bit for y'all to see. Let me, um, I'm determined here, people. I'm determined. All righty, there we go. <laughs> you can see the eyes clear. Okay, that's what I want. We'll just have to keep playing with it, guys. All right, so now what I want you to do with your white pencil is we're going to start with around the eyes. So around in, in between the crease and the eye and all the way around the corner of the eye, I want you to put white. <clears throat> okay? I'm going to hold it up here for you a minute. I just kind of want you to, it's almost like you're going to outline the eye. You're, now, you're going to have to go over some of those eyelashes to get this part done, but we'll, we'll go back over it. Okay? But basically, what I want you to do is just kind of surround the eyes with white. Even though we're in most of the areas, we're going to go back over it with flesh colors. What this does, it retains the crisp, the it it retains a nice brightness. 
to the eyes when you do this, okay? And don't really bear down. It's best to do a few passes over it, like go over it and over it and over it, like that, okay? This is what we want right now. <laughs> Okay, I guess I don't really need to hold it up again. It's a little, there's more the true color on my hand there. <laughs> there we go. As long as I keep my hand in the camera, it looks like it keeps the, uh... okay, we, I can tell we're not going to get far today, are we guys? I wanted to try to get the white part done today, but I don't know. We'll see. We get a little, we get crazy here. <laughs> Okay, so just take a second and just kind of encapsulate the, you know, almost like a white eyeliner all the way around our eyes. Again, it's, we're going to have cream color and, sh and uh, peach and other light colors going over it, but this will retain the brightness of her eyes. Okay. Okay, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Vaughn. I'm recording, people. All right. Now, what I want you to do next is just kind of lightly, not as, not quite as dark as what we did there, but kind of lightly up, all the way up under the eyebrow. I just want you to kind of like imagine you're putting some eyeshadow on her. A, a nice coat of white all the way across there. This is not as dark as you put around the eye. It's very light. I'm, I'm, it, it, that's one of the benefits of using a tan or toned paper. I'm barely pushing on this, and it's picking up the white. Do the same on both. Underneath the eyebrow, just put a nice, just even coat of white. Not as dark as the circle that we did. Okay? I know it looks weird, but this, it does work. I'm, but trust me. You'll have to trust me. <laughs> we, you probably won't see Amelia in this today. Okay? All right. So just kind of go all the way from where there's, you'll see a line over there. Not all the way to the side of her face, but like kind of where the eyebrow kind of comes there. And then here's the side of her face over there. Just kind of get it all the way over to there on that side. And see how I've extended it out past her eye on that side? Right? All the way under the eyebrow. Okay? Now what I want you to do is right up under the eyebrow, just like you were putting on some makeup, I just want you to make it just a little wider right under the eyebrow. Like that. Okay? <laughs> this this just could be a hot mess show, I'm telling you. If you're watching this recording, you're thinking by just shaking your egg on what in the world's going on in that chat. <laughs> yeah, hurting cats. Exactly, Vicky. It is hurting cats in this show. <laughs> but we have so much fun doing it, don't we? <laughs> Let me do a test. I might have to re fresh my chat too. We have so much fun herding cats in this show. <laughs> All right. Okay, so how we doing? <clears throat> now what I want you to do is just do another light, just like you did real lightly above the eyebrow, uh, the eyelid there. Just kind of do a little bit of shading. I'm, I'm trying to take my time. I really want y'all to, you know, be happy with this. And kind of just Follow that line right there on her nose. Follow it kind of straight, kind of down like that. And then the same thing on this eye. Just kind of do a little bit of white highlight there. Okay? Just like that. The whole face is going to have a lot of white at the end of this process today. I don't know how much farther we're going to get than just the white. Do you get a five-minute break? We've only been actual working, AJ, probably five minutes total. And we still... All right. They're already wanting a break in chat. Okay, I'm going to go get some coffee because AJ Pet needs a break. <laughs>
herding cats on a rabbit trail. Oh, that's got to go in the wing nut book, Carrie. Uh, just say for those of y'all that don't know, we have a book here of uh, quips, quotes, and funny sayings that everybody says. Yeah. Okay. So Carrie, we have we need to put that in there. Herding cats on a rabbit trail. Herding cats on the rabbit trail. Okay. That's going to go in the wing nut book. <laughs> yeah. JJ said, I've got to run to the party. And Vicky's going, young lady, you should have gone before you got in the car. <laughs> Vicky. Okay. All right. Yeah, exactly. I won't. I won't say that. Oh, well, I'll just say this. Nana J said, okay, potty people. Potty people. Where, I gotta get my little my little uh, potty people out. You know the little wood wooden wood veneer potty people. Okay, because that would be a good BRB sign is to have those two little potty people there. Okay, I'm gonna just go get coffee. <laughs> we will BRB. I'm just gonna leave a little pencil right there. All right, I'll be right back too, guys. Good grief. We're never gonna get through this. All right, I got fresh coffee made up in a fresh pot, and I'm going to come on my table here and get the tray out. Ah, here we go. All right, for those of y'all that aren't back yet, hang on. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> There's our potty people. <laughs> If you were out watching the recording and didn't know what we were talking about, these are the potty people. Hey, Rain. <laughs> uh, okay, Jeff. Well, work along with that if you want to while we're doing this. All right. So we're going to wait till everybody gets back. <laughs> The coloring part is easier for me. Just can do. Okay. Well, we'll do another class later, uh, JJ, on drawing. Okay? Different ways you can do this. We can do. Remember how I showed y'all a few years ago how to do the grids? That's one way. There's, you know, so. If, but I really hope that y'all practice your drawing. One of the easiest ways to get your, well, I won't get into that now because then I'll get a total off, total rabbit trail on the drawing, okay, on proportions and all that. So we'll do that another time. Let's concentrate on this. We're barely concentrating on this. We're barely getting this part done. All right, so let's, we're going to continue on. I don't know if AJ and, and Nana J, <laughs> where they are, but we're going to move on. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. All right, Janet. All right. We'll have another class on that another day. All right. So now what I want you to do is kind of right here in the middle of her nose, 
is just kind of do a little between her eyes right there. You just kind of, not all the way to the eyes, but just kind of right there in the middle. We're trying to hit the brightest highlight. Not the very, very, very brightest, but we're, we're, we're plotting it out. All right. And then on the side of her nose here, all the way down to where you see that little mark right there. Just kind of, I just want you to kind of mark it out where we're going to go with the, the shading or the highlighting. All right, just kind of do that. All right. I want y'all to just, I, I want to kind of take my time, but I don't want to, I don't want to make this a six week course. <laughs> You're so great, Janet. Okay. All right. Now, I want you to just kind of do a little circular lightly. Now, don't make it a hard circle because you're going to have to blend this. But I just want you to kind of put a little circle, white circle ball on her nose. Now, don't, she's not a clown. Just a tiny little highlight like that, okay? Just so we know where we're going, where we're going with the white, the highlights. By the time we get done with the whites today, uh, y'all, you're going to see the form of her face. You're going to see the shape of her face. You're going to be surprised at how li uh, how shaped her face looks with just white. If we get past it, if we, get, if we can move on. <laughs> We've already been here an hour. <laughs> uh, well, that's all right, Nana. Um, Janet, it, you're you're practicing the shading and all that for now, so don't worry about. It. You're just you sketched her out, <laughs> okay? All right. Now I want you to just kind of you'll see a little brown line right there on this side of her nose. On the other side, in between, you know, on the little nostril there, just kind of color that nostril in with white. Now, if you notice, I did not put a one on this side, okay? But I want you to do the same. I want you to just color in a little C, a little C shape there on either side of her nostril. You see how it's already looking like a nose? All right? Okay. Just going to hold this up here for you for a second. Okay. All right. Also, I want you just to put a light coat of white on her lips. Just col completely coloring her lips very lightly because you're going to have to put colors over these. Very lightly, just color in across the lips. You can even go over the middle line a little bit to kind of you know, tone that down. All right. So there we go. Just lightly color in the lips just a little. Uh, you can even go right over, almost to the over the line. The don't don't lose the lip line, but you can kind of tone it down just a little like that. Okay, all right, Nana. Yeah. All right. Can somebody tell me if I'm going at a good speed here? Somebody that's actually doing it. <laughs> Someone that's actually playing along here. <laughs> um, yeah, it, you can you can go over them lightly, JJ, but don't lose them. Don't don't lose the lines yet. Okay, you can see like on this side, I kind of went over just a little bit. I did go over the lip line here a little, but don't lose those lines yet. Because you got to be able to see where you're going. If you get this too whited out, you're going to lose where we're going. Okay? You don't want to lose your map. Okay? Thanks, Vaughn. You don't want to lose your map. Okay, now what I want you to do is draw one little white line across the top of her lip. It might take a couple passes over it. Don't bear down. It's better to go over it two or three times than to bear down, but I just want you to get a nice line across the top of the lip, like this. No, she will not have a milk mustache. <laughs> I'm trying to get you to establish where the light's hitting her face and making it into a, you know, forming it. Okay? 
Oh, Eileen, are you back? Okay, chat split again. <clears throat> That'll be fun, Janet. Nana J, Nana Janet. Okay, I know I, I can't really do anything about the net split, and, but hopefully y'all can still, even though you may not be able to talk to me directly in chat till it comes back, you can still see. All right, so let's keep moving on. All right, now what I want you to do is right above her lip, like you know that little, that little circle thing that's or kind of that little spot under the nose that's kind of indented. What I want you to kind of do is just imagine, just put a little bit of highlight on either side of a little place like that. Okay, like a little U right there. Okay. Just kind of like that. Okay. And then lightly connect these right here. Just kind of shade them so it's kind of like a little like a little V there, and right here on this side. It looks very stark and very, so very defined right now, but trust me, it'll all get blended in. Okay, so that's what I want you to do right now. I'm holding it right up under the camera on the clipboard. I don't know that it's necessary, but okay. All right. Now what I want you to do is right under her lip here, not all the way to the not all the way to the edge there, but just right under the lip here. Let's just kind of do a little bit of a highlight there and a little bit of highlight there. All right. We'll get to the corners here after a while. I just kind of want you to define that. Now she has a cutest little dimple. So we're going to try to accent those in a little bit. Well, let's go ahead and do that now. All right, right here at the end of her lip there, I don't want to lose focus by holding it so close to the camera. Right in here, I want it a, a very white white. And then same thing right here on the inside of that line. Okay. Can you see that, where those lines were that I drew for you there? Right there on the inside corner of her lip really extra white because you're going to have dimples. Okay. All right. Now what I want you to do is where you brought these, she has cute little round cheeks too. What I want you to do is just kind of draw like little, just kind of extend that from the nose down around. And it's kind of like it's about the level of right you can see where that is there. Same on this side. Just kind of draw some little cheeks like that. Okay. All right. And then take your pencil and just kind of lightly imagine her cheek there and color in. It's almost like a little up to, upside down C. And you're just kind of lightly coloring in the highlight of her cheek there. And the same thing here. And if it gets too big, we'll, we're going to, we can knock it back, you know, a little bit when we start coloring. I just want you to start forming her face. Okay. You kind of imagine this can go all the way up right here. All right. Just kind of maybe almost, you can even almost connect that right there just for your purposes. Same thing on this side. Where our eyebrow ends, just kind of draw a light little line like that. Because on the outside of her face, this is where her face is the brightest, but then it moves around the side. This is the sides of, you know, her face is going around. Okay, so just kind of do it like this. Just kind of connect the eyebrow, the end of the eyebrow, with the outside of the cheek like that. Okay. Hey, cheeky girl. And anybody else, uh, for those of y'all coming in, we've had a couple net splits. So half the people are here and half the people are in a separate chat. But everybody should still be seeing the same, you know, there's, you're still seeing the video. Okay? So, it, but you may not be able, if you're talking to me, I may not see you. 
Okay, I don't know. Let me double check my mod situation here. Oh, I got. Okay. I, okay, everybody's modded here, so maybe the chat's back here. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, Deb. Anybody else popping in? Okay, so how are we doing? Need a little feedback here on the speed of how we're going. How are we doing on the speed of it? <clears throat> Those that jaw that are actually working. <laughs> Hurting cats here, people. Hurting cats. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody's good. All right. All right. So now what I want you to do is her the top of her eyebrows, it, here's some of the points that make the person look like the point. The, the eyebrows, the eyebrows, the corners of the eyes, and the corners of the mouth. Those are really, really help you to define how that person's going to look. So what I want you to do is not right exactly above that line. I, I did the eyebrows very, very minuscule, almost just a line, okay? I want you to imagine that above that line is a little bit more hair there, just a little bit more. It's not real hairy, but <laughs> I just want you to go a little farther above that and just draw a couple little areas like that. You see where the lines are that I drew you for the eyebrows? I want you to go above that because you're going to have some a little bit of shadow in there and a little bit more hair. Okay? But what I want you to do here is I'll, let's just try to make this easy for you. Almost just come, bring this one little line up to about there. And then just kind of I'm going to try to do this so you can kind of follow along. Just a little bit of light there. Mostly your hot, your light's going to be up here, above the eyebrow. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. I just want you to kind of generally place it like that. Okay? Because this is getting more and more shadowed as you go around the side of her face over here. But this highlights right above her, her eyes there. Okay? Now you can lightly, kind of, just kind of lightly put a little bit of white there. Not, don't go crazy, just kind of almost like a little, you know, connector there. Just there, but this is brighter, that's brighter. Okay? You got that? Then I want you to go down here where this is here and just kind of almost, just kind of connect it. Not, not in a harsh way. Very lightly, just kind of connect this. Okay? That's the side of her nose there. Not too harsh now, just, just slightly. And you can kind of blend that a little bit there. Okay? See how it's just kind of bringing out the highlights? All right? Okay, good, Janet, good. <laughs> All right, we we good. Now I want you to also go right under. We could and there's no see there's no particular order. We could have when we were already down here went under the nose here. It's it's not any particular order. I just go all over the face as I'm working to kind of balance it all out. So I'm just going to draw a little bit of a white right under her nose. Now, not everybody's going to have a brightness. Young faces, you know, that's kind of why I really wanted to use a, a little girl. Well, it could have been a little boy, too. But I really wanted to use a child's face because of the clarity of everything, the clarity of the highlights and everything. Okay. And then right in here where her little dimple is, you could put a little bit more highlight in between those two lines as well. Okay? So it's not going to matter so much now, but, you know, you can put, put that little line there where her dimple is, too. Okay? How are we doing? We doing? We doing, doing? <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, and we're going to have even more highlights after the fact. This will just help you define the face so that it has a form. It's just easier to see the shape and the form of the face like this. All right, now what I want you to do is just, just put a little bit, almost just like a little rectangleness of highlight on the chin. It's not, it's just a little bit down there, okay? Kind of like that. Just to define the chin. We're just defining everything. Okay? And another thing that's kind of sometimes you have to really be careful of is where the, where the end of the face comes. And so that it doesn't, it just, you have to be careful because there's a shadow under the chin, but you don't want just a harsh line there. What I want you to do now is just take your pencil and over here where her neck is, she's going to have a shirt on right there, is just kind of color that in down on that side of the face in there. Just kind of, just kind of put a little bit over there. Okay, just so we're not getting a, uh, just kind of blend it like that. Okay, if, and, and hopefully if the chat stays stable, I want to do our giveaway. Remember, Carrie gifted us one of Sister Woman, Jonna, one of her cloth faux dory covers. So sister uh, Carrie bought this for a, for the um, for a giveaway here. So we want to do a giveaway today as long as the chat stays stable. All right. So I showed this at the beginning. It's on the recording. So we're going to do a giveaway. So if the chat stays stable, if I can, you know, if everybody's still staying here. All right. So we'll see. Okay. All right, so let's keep going here. Now what I want you to do is just so we can kind of define the hairline. Let me move her down here. Is right along the line here where you see where I put her hair, just do a little bit all the way up over those lines right there. These are like little baby hairs right here and right here. These are like little baby hairs when you pull a ponytail back. You still have a few little baby hairs in there. Go on top above those. And just kind of do a little bit. You can go right over. See how I'm kind of going right over some of those lines there? This is just going to define her hairline here. Okay. All the way over to here. Again, these are baby hairs. Those are baby hairs. So get right above those baby hairs. Now, she has on her forehead here, it's a very defined line on this side of her face. So what I want you to do is kind of go from the hairline there, follow that line around with a little bit of white, just like this. This is just more in shadow over here. She has like, she's, it's like her little head is still like, oh, kind of like a little baby head, you know? <laughs> she's so adorable. All right, so just kind of do that. Okay. And then what I want you to do is, like, here's the end of the baby hair here and the end of the baby hair there. This is kind of really where her main forehead is. So just kind of give yourself a little bit of a guideline there. And what I want you to do is very lightly just kind of give yourself a little bit of highlight right across the forehead there. From that end to that end. Go over it a couple times nicely. Just kind of. Blendy out, kind of like that, just to give yourself where so you know where her forehead is. Okay, right in there. Almost kind of like a little diamond shape. But don't go, you know, blend it out, but sort of in a, like about a diamond shape from end to end there, and then up like that. All right? Okay. Y'all. We we doing good here. We're still playing along. <laughs> and the other place that I want you to do this light little bit here is right in between. It's kind of like a little spot of area right in here, like almost do like a little oval right in there, and a little oval right over in this area. 
I'll hold it up so you can see. Just, just It's not as highlighted as of these other areas. But you're just going to start kind of getting some areas to shape her face. Just a little bit of an oval right in there so you can still see dark all the way around. Okay, same here. See how you can still see the dark all the way around that little oval? Okay. Alright. Now what I want you to do is go over to her ears. Hopefully I'm not am I do am I going too fast? I don't want to I don't want it to get away from everybody. And you might need to sharpen your pencil depending on, you know, I, I'm kind of rolling mine so it kind of keeps a point, but make sure you have a good sharp pencil. Even when you're doing these, these soft areas, you can still kind of tilt the pencil a little bit to get a softer edge. Or even if you're using the point, just go real lightly. I'm barely touching the paper. I wish you could feel how lightly I'm doing this. Okay, good pace. All right, now what I want you to do is over on her earlobes here, uh, you're pretty much almost coloring in that little area there. And then on the inside, you could almost just go right over the top of that brown line. You could just pretty much go right over that brown line on the outside edge of her ear. Okay. And then right there in the middle, just kind of like one little line like that. We'll, we'll get more detail with the ear later. But just kind of like, like that. Right there. And then outline. And just right there. Okay. Move over to this side. <laughs> Same thing. We're going to go on the outside. We're going to cover up that brown line on the outside of the ear. And just follow the brown line. Just right on top of the brown line. Okay. And she has an earring on. So that little line right there is an earring line. But that's okay. Just go right down to that little circle. Okay. And then right in between this little nub and this little line, right in there, it's white. Put white in there. Okay. Kind of come around that little nub and down. See how you're following that little line I gave you? It's almost like a little S. Okay. And then right in here, you'll see a little space, a little, a little line right there I gave you, just to kind of put a little bit of highlight right in there. Okay, so I hope. You could even follow that brown line all the way on the top of the ear, too. Because it's going to blend into her hair. It's going to cover up that part. But Okay, so how are we doing? All right, let me pull it back down here. Hopefully we're still focused. Okay, so can y'all start to see how it's starting to shape her face? Now what I want you to do is... You see how brightly you did this line and this line, and how brightly you outlined her eye there? What I want you to do now is almost kind of con not quite connect. My, don't, don't give her quite like bags under her eyes, but sort of, kind of. Lightly put a, a coat of white right in between there, and the same thing on this side. You're, it's it's lighter than those other two marks we did. Can you see how that's blending? See how it's blending in together? Both sides. Okay. All right. Now. Very lightly, uh, and I, I mean just as the slightest coat of white, starting up right up under the nose here, just kind of pull down a little bit of white right up under the nose there. Almost just kind of like you're just kind of blending out that harsh white line right there. Just 
a little bit of white there down to that line. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Same thing for this side. Just kind of blend in a little bit of white under the right under the nose there. I'm going to tilt it a little bit myself. Okay. So that you can still see all these other lines you've done. Don't lose all those lines. Yes, this is where the light hits her face, and then sub hits her face. Like this is like the brightest, and but then you're like you know you have these other areas where it's not quite as bright. It's that's where the light's hitting her face, but not as brightly as say you know right here on her little cheeks. Okay, like that. That's that's the light's a little brighter there. Okay, and we're gonna have further highlights as well when you know because we're going to layer this up it's going to have multiple layers and um and we'll be going back over areas with even more white all right now if you want you can sort of just barely maybe just bring this down just a tiny bit there in the middle of her nose not too much just a tiny bit you know the thing about kids noses is they're they're short. They're like little stubbier noses. Um, if you start getting too much of a highlight straight down the nose, you're going to lose that little round, little cute little kid nose. Okay, because the highlight doesn't connect here because she has a little little you know little round little nose. But on a if you see on adults like, let me see if I can draw one here. On adults, if the the bridge of the nose comes farther down, so it makes it look like one long, you know, the bridge of the nose, even though it does come out like this, you know. But you lose, you lose the little kid nose, the little little um, little you know round little nose that looks kind of like that. Okay. I mean, that's exaggerated a little bit, but, you know, their little noses are, are rounded like that. And, mo and I'm just generally speaking, now, of course, every single nose is different. But this will make it look more like an adult nose, where, you know, when you do it like this, you see that little roundy nose. And then the highlight will be up here between the eyes. Okay? All right. So let me sit here and see if we got any questions. It looks like chat stable at the moment. All right. Now if you want, let's go ahead and take your dark gray again. Take a nice sharp, sharp dark gray. And just so we feel like we are doing a little something more than just this for now, let's go ahead and again make sure your pupils, I mean not your pupils, the irises are nice and rounded on the inside and outside. Just kind of make sure they're nice and rounded because remember we put a couple coats of other colors and so you lose that sharp defineness. You might even lose some of that black, your black, um, what do you call it? Uh, the pupil, because your your layering and, and pencil shavings are coming over that dark, dark black. Okay. Okay. Bye, JJ. All right. So now what I want you to do. See how we kind of got that so far in the eyes. What I want you to do is take with your dark gray, and 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 it's not going to matter if it looks exactly like Amelia's at this point. What I want you to do is just kind of take. Starting at the outside edge, start at the outside edge, because her her pupils are lighter right along the iris line, I mean right along the pupil line, so, and sometimes the iris lines start from the pupil out, sometimes they start from the outer edge of the iris in, in that case it's her, this is the case with her. So what I want you to do is take your dark gray, and come out here where you drew your um, do your outside line. And now remember, everything has to go toward the pupil. So when you draw, and don't draw a straight line. I mean, let me see how I can define this. Don't just draw a line from end to end. 
kind of a little heavier pressure on this side and kind of flick it up. Just kind of put a couple lines, maybe only three. All right, see how subtle that is? Very subtle. You know, you can go back over me, just, just a couple lines. All right, the same thing on the other side, maybe just two or three. It, um, don't worry about it where Amelia's are and her eyes at this point. What I want you to do is just uh, kind of get the idea, and I'm trying to make it so you can see it on camera. Hopefully you can see it on camera. All right, what I want you to do is just those outside sides for now on both sides. Can you see this? I hope. Same thing on this side. Just a couple of little lines from the outside in. Those iris lines. And I don't even know if you can see them. You can probably see it right there. Okay. Alright, so just put a little, <laughs> just, well then just draw some lines, just kind of, you just don't want them, you know, you want them subtle, is what I'm trying to say. Let me see if I can, just, I'm trying to focus. Can you kind of see your flickers? <laughs> well then just, you know, go back over them, it's okay. I just want you to kind of get the idea. For now, we're going to work more in the irises later. I'm just trying to get you to just have a little something, something in the eyes. All right. All right. Now what I want you to do, and you've got to be subtle. Be subtle. All right. Take your dark gray and write along just that line. Don't go circular on it because her eye is, the circle part is under there. But just right there, just barely touch that right there. The brown, where the brown, the, the where the uh, brown sienna line is, just kind of cover up that line right there. That's all I want you to do. Just cover up that line. But remember her eyes are round, so, you know, can you see where we did that? And the same thing on the top. Even though she's going to have a very black outline eyes because she has uh, black eyelashes. But right now, all I want you to do is cover up the sienna line. Just cover up the sienna line that you started with. Okay? Yes, this, the sketch is on my blog, Inkywell, I-N-K-I-W-E-L-L dot blogspot dot com. And just right click on the drawing, save it on your computer, and then print it out on tan paper. Okay, it doesn't have to be any certain brand. This is just the Michaels Recollection brand. And this is a printout as well. I'm working on a printout too. So you can see where the printer kind of didn't quite print right there. So I'm printing it's I'm printed it out too so that you can see I can't erase these Sienna lines either. We're going over the Sienna lines. All right. Yes, you can, Lindsay. Don't ever say you can't. <laughs> All right. So I'm I'm thinking that that this might be enough for today. Um. Okay. The only, well, maybe we'll do, let's go ahead and do one more thing with the bow. Her bow is white, but it's got blue, like a blue undertone. Now, y'all, if you don't have, if you don't have some blue paint with you right now, then don't worry about it. But, um, here, I'm going to go ahead and show this part. You can do it on, you can do it later if you need to. But we're going to do this part, and then we're, then we're going to stop okay for today so I'm just going to take a blue harbor it doesn't ha it doesn't matter so much the color of blue if you don't have this exact shade of blue all this will still work okay this will still work if you want to do a pink if you want to do a pink bow that's fine it, it's not so much the color it's going to be the technique okay so I'm just going to put out a little blue harbor we're going to do this and then we're going to do our giveaway do we need, does anybody need this right now? Are we good? <laughs> Is everybody good? 
All right, so what I want you to do is get a brush. Again, you know, probably, let me show you the size of the one I'm going to use. It doesn't have to be this exact size, but it's kind of, it's a, it's a size that's going to fit inside those little bow places, okay? I can turn it sideways and whatever. Just, you know, if you want to use a smaller brush than this, that's fine. Wet your brush. Wet your, always wet your brush before you put it in acrylic paint. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out just the tiniest bit of acrylic paint. Okay, very little, not a lot there. And what I'm going to do, and you'll see, it, you may not be able to see much going on here today, but it, you'll, you'll see later. What I, all, all I want you to do is color in, and I might even have a too big of a brush. All I want you to do, now let me get a smaller one because it might be follow along. We're going to get a little bit smaller one. What I want you to do is color in every area inside those lines. If you go over a little bit, it's fine. I just want you to kind of fill in solid color every place where those lines are. Let me just show you one here so you can see. Okay, just go up to the line. If you go over a little, it's okay. It's just a hair bow. Okay, it's a ribbon. It's not going to matter if you get it exact. Okay, all right, so see how I just kind of filled in that little area? Now see this little area there? Fill that in right up almost to the line, like this. Leave a little space. It doesn't have, it can be raggedy jaggedy. It doesn't matter if it's raggedy jaggedy right there where they sort of almost touch. Just kind of fill in everywhere up to the line. It kind of just like this. This is this is all you really need for right now. Just fill that in a little. Okay. Just fill in around up to the outside brown line. You can cover up the brown line on the outside and just kind of work your way up to the area. Okay. You kind of seeing where I'm going with this? I'm just leaving a little bit of definition between the the bow things, the bow areas. Okay. So, and this could be any color. I'm doing hers in blue. You can do it in pink. You can do whatever color you want. Just gonna fill that in. There's a little area there. I'm holding it up to the. I'm holding it above, you know, in the air. Just kind of like that. Okay, we good? Just something like that. That's all you need to do for now. Because we're gonna we're gonna shade on top of that. Not today. <laughs> we're gonna shade on top of that. All right. So what I'm thinking. I don't know. When do y'all want to do the next one? Monday? I can't do it Friday. I got all the cheer girls coming through here on their way to Summit. So, I mean, if you think we could continue it tomorrow, we could probably do that or Monday. Those are, you know, those are our options. Okay, we can continue a little more tomorrow if you want or Monday. I can't do it Friday. In about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to do it tomorrow? Okay. If y'all want to do it tomorrow, we can. And you know, and like again, if you can't be here tomorrow, then we'll just it'll be recorded, okay? <laughs> All right. I kind of want to, like, I, I want to kind of like a little bit of time in between because I want everybody to get to this stage before we go on. So if, you know, uh, I, that's why I don't want to do more today. I want everybody to get this far before we go on. Now, if y'all want one more thing to do, we can color in her dress. Her dress is like a tan color with blue stars. But I think what I'll do is I'm going to do her dress blue with white stars. Pull picture back down. Okay. 
all right? So let's go ahead while we have the same blue. It just might be easy just to, you know, you can do it how, you know, I, the, again, the reason I'm not showing the photograph of it yet is because I want you to concentrate on these techniques rather than looking at the picture and getting like, oh my gosh, it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like that yet. Well, it doesn't yet. But if you if you have the photograph in front of you at this stage and you're not used to doing portraits, you're going to freak out. And I don't want you to do that. All right, so go ahead and take your blue. And again, just kind of go right up to her face. Not, don't touch the face now. Don't touch the face. See, I left a little space there from the face. Because you're going to do color pencil and shading and stuff on it. We just kind of follow that line out. Kind of curve around there. And kind of just fill it in and fade it out. Just, just kind of fade it out like that. Okay? Just do that right there. Okay? Same thing on this side. Now, she has a puffy sleeve. All right, again, let's be careful along the face. Take your time with this. If you're, if you're trying to do this right now, um, maybe you want to just wait and take your time because you don't want to get this on the face. Do not get the blue paint on the face or the ear. Take your time to go around the ear and right, I mean, if you have to, err on the side of the outside of the brown. Okay? Go on the outside of the brown of her face. Don't get it on the face. Just kind of go on there, along there, and then straight down that line there. Okay? And again, then just pick up some more paint and kind of blend it out like that. Just kind of feather it out. Leave it kind of feathery like that. Okay. And again, you can leave a little space in between where the little puffy shoulder is there. Just all, all I'm saying is just don't get it on the face. And you can kind of end it how you want. It doesn't really, you know, it's not so, you know, just whatever looks good to your eye. I think I'll just kind of come down like that. Alright? Sort of like that. Now the sleeves obviously go further. I mean, if you want, if it looks like, oh, I want that sleeve to go a little that way. That's fine. Just, you, know, you don't need to go crazy. It's just kind of like a, you know, the, a silhouette of it. She has a puffy sleeve on this side. She's kind of hunching forward a little bit with that shoulder. So the shoulder's kind of leaning down. Alright. Right. Now, one more thing I want you to do. I want you to either get a, a nice sharp black pencil, get your get your pencil really sharp, and down here I want you to sign it. I want you to go ahead and sign. Whoops. I want you to sign it however you would sign your name, because I want you to feel like you're doing something here. <laughs> and I always put a little copyright and a little. All right, so there's mine. I did it kind of bold there. If I was doing a commission, it wouldn't be quite that big. But, you know, I just want you to, I want you to sign your work today. <laughs> All right? Small bit, however you want to sign your name, however you normally sign your Sign your work right down there. We're just going to do that today. All right, let me back the camera up a little. Let me do our giveaway here. Okay, let me re auto focus. Okay. All right, so can you all kind of get the big picture there now of how we're going? We're going to have much brighter lights, we're going to have shadows and color and all that, but I just wanted you to start feeling like you have the form of the piece going. All right, you don't have to have, you know, if you get a set of Prisma colors, you know, if you just, that's why I'm trying to show you the basic colors that we're using here. If you're going to do more portraits, uh, you'll, you'll probably want more colors eventually. But I don't want to, I didn't want anyone to go out and buy a bunch of pencils and they may say, I don't even like doing this. It's just don't enjoy it. You know, so that's why, that's why I want you to just, you know, just we're trying to I'm trying to do it with as minimal of colors as possible at this um 
at this stage. Okay, so yesterday's show, yesterday, or the other day's recording has all the colors that I picked these. We may not even use all these colors. I have two or three grays. We may not use all those. Uh, you know, I got three or four blues, you know, it, so I'm just kind of giving you a general, but we're going to work with what you have. You want to work with what you have at this stage. All right, because I don't want you going out and spending two hundred dollars on a hundred and twenty set of Prisma colors, and you're not going to use them all for one. And number two, you may not even like it. So, <laughs> okay, all right. So <laughs> that's correct, Vicky. So, um, so there we go. That this will give us a start again. Kind of look at her eyes there. I'll try to get um, a little close so you can kind of see. We're going to work on some more. There's going to be shading and the eye, the dots in the eye, I mean the uh, corners of the eyes. There's going to be shading under where the sienna is. Now, all the sienna will be gone, okay, although she does have kind of a, a reddish tint to her hair. I'm not sure how, it's not like Darcy's in, in uh, Packer Dye, um, but, you know, some of that color may remain. But all the sienna is going to be gone from the face by the time we get done. Hey, Mitzi.